Not as big as you want. Whoa! Worm, they're going for that too. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them there. Here on the Maitland River today, fishing for some smallmouth bass. It's been difficult fishing for bass this year. Ever since bass season opened, we've been getting a lot of rain. And every time the water level gets back to normal, it usually rains again. It's only the second time out, and it's already late July. This is a typical small bass pool on this river. Starts out with some rapids. And then you get this deeper pool where there's still current and some rocks. And then at the far end there, you, the water gets shallower. There's also a lot of rocks there and the water speeds up. A lot of the bass will be hanging out back there. I usually start by fishing the top of the pool and I'll work my way down. And another little one. Gonna change baits, go to something bigger. It's not bad. Orange paddle tail now. It's maybe 12 inches, not bad. So yeah, he's bigger than 12 inches. It's the biggest one yet. And nice 12 inches. Getting bigger. Some huge bass hanging out at the back of this pool. Just can't get him to bite. It's 12 inch ones, dude. We've got a different spot here. Sun's back out. An absolutely beautiful pool in there for smallmouth bass. You get current, deeper water. I've caught big bass here before. I know they're still there because I can see them. But big bass are usually hard to find. They get big for a reason. They're smart. See if I can get one. Well, I got one, but there's an 18 inch bass swimming around there, too. I just cannot get him to bite.
I don't know the camera will pick that up. He's still sitting there. There's two of them actually. Let's see if I can back out of here slowly. I don't want to scare him. We just coughed up that crayfish. It's a decent bass. So many of those big fish swimming around. Finally got one. Oh, this one's really big. And that big guy. here a bit. There's lots more of them like, like, like him in there. There we go, that's he's ready. Got in the corner in the mouth. Swallow it or anything. Let's go, big guy. I'll let you go. I don't want to bite too long. Oh, this guy's huge. I'm not even going to measure him. He's too big. That might be a 20 inch fish. Oh, I got the size of that guy. Beautiful fish. Okay, off you go. Wow. There's 18 inch plush fish in here, but you don't catch them every year. That's why in a river like this, you should let them go. You think there's a lot of big fish in here, but there's really not that many. If you're fishing in a place like Lake Erie, go ahead, keep them all. About river fish, you should let them go. Oh, got one. Not as big as you want. Whoa! No, that's a jump. Switched from plastic crayfish to plastic worm. They're going for that too. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them there. Between the legs. Okay, let's get this guy up quick. Now fall down. Lots of current here. There it goes. Oh, he's big too. Beautiful markings. Wow, he's dark. He's almost as big as the other one. There we go. Quick pick. He's big. Not nearly as big as that other one. Off you go. I'm just casting the plastic worm out there and slowly reeling it in. Luckily there's not that many big rocks here for the bait to get stuck on. Let's see if I can get another one. Give it one more cast, see if I can catch one more big one. I can see a couple more.
Okay, this will be the last cast. Not sure how big he is. He's half decent. Huge one chasing this guy. Surprised they're still around because they can see me, the water's so clear. Okay, this guy unhooked. Oh man, this is a big fish. Look at the size of this. 15 inches maybe. This is my third biggest one today. Oh, there's two big ones right in front of me there. Just looking at me. Usually they take off. I think it's a small one. I haven't seen one great big one in there. Soft plastic crayfish. Another one, I think this one might be a small one. Yeah. Yep, small one. Plastic worm back on. This color. 